Yeah, so I know that the first day of Shawal, uh, I am not allowed to fast for whatever reason, whether it is for the purpose of paying back my missed fast or on a voluntary basis. But what if I'm in a situation where I'm in a country, as for my case, I'm in, a, in an island city state, where it is still the month of Ramadan, that is a 30th of Ramadan, but the neighboring countries are already celebrating the first day of it, which is first of Shawal, and I'm intending to to travel to a border town with, with of that neighboring country, which has they have already celebrated the first of Shawal, and I'm I'm still fasting. And by the time if I were to reach to that intended destination, am I is it perfectly fine for me to still keep on fasting? Jazakumullah here. Well, Jazakum. First of all, the issue of fasting and breaking your fast for Eid is dependent on sighting of the moon. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, in an authentic hadith, fast when seeing it, that is the crescent, and break your fast, that is for Eid, when you see it, that is the crescent as well. And he also said, alayhi salatu wasalam, the day of fasting is the day when you all fast. And the day of Eid is the day when you all celebrate Eid. So you're part of the community and you cannot go against them. If you are in a country, you, you fasted the 28th, the 29th, and then they said, oh, tomorrow is Eid. Then you have to celebrate Eid with them because you're in the country. And if there is an adjacent country that fasted 29th, and the, 20, and the 30th, they still fasted it. Unlike your country, they did not celebrate Eid. This is their right. They have to fast because they are in that country and everybody else is fasting on the 30th. Now the question is, if I fasted the 28th and the 29th in my country, and just before sunset, I traveled to this country, and I reached there, and they are fasting the 29th, like my country. The following day, they said, today is 30th, we're fasting. While my country said, today is 8th, we're not fasting. Who should I follow? You should follow the country you are in at the moment, with the Muslims who are fasting, and you must fast with them. The only time that you may skip fasting is, if you were in your country on the 29th and the sun had set and then they said, oh, we see the crescent. Alhamdulillah, Ramadan is over, tomorrow is Eid. So now for you in your country, Eid has been established. And five minutes later, you take a plane and you move to the other country. And they say, tomorrow is 30th, we're fasting. In this case, you don't fast. Why? Because it is Eid for you, khalas. Ramadan is over. And you saw the crescent with the people who are celebrating Eid. When you go to a country that are fasting, you cannot fast with them. But don't show them that you're celebrating Eid because you will go against all of them. Rather, pretend that you are fasting and actually it's your first day of Eid and Allah Azza wa knows best.